Hey everyone, The Collector 27 here, coming at you guys with another awesome action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Star Wars The Black Series, Captain Phasma from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Let's take a look. Okay, so right off the bat I just want to say a huge shout out and thank you to my best bud Leo. He's my best friend. He sent me this, you know, for me to review. I actually never got this figure back when it first came out. And I always liked the character, but I was very bummed that they killed her off in the second movie, Last Jedi, of, or second movie of her appearance, I should say. I thought she was going to be a really cool character, and they could have, you know, done something really great with her, but they just killed her off in the second movie. So, huge shout out to Leo. Thank you very much, bro. I really appreciate this. You know, every time someone send me, sends me something or blesses me with something, it helps my channel grow. Helps my page grow, you know, allows me to do some more reviews just like this. And so I'm very, very grateful. Thank you. All right, so getting into the detail of the figure right away. Uh, first off, I just got to say that the paint apps are really, really good. I love the kind of chrome silver that they used on her. She looks really, really good just in the vanilla pose like this, holding her blaster. That looks really good. Uh, the paint is all the way through the figure even on the back underneath the cape all the way over there you know just everywhere there's just a lot of silver chrome paint i think it looks really good especially under all these led lights right now it just really makes her shine a bit more uh let's take a look at this blaster real quick let's see stay there captain phasma this blaster is really detailed like look at that it's kind of like this has this goldish type of hue to it and with all of these little black details over here on the scope area on the handle the trigger uh, right here on this uh, I guess was this kind of like a the chamber or something or kind of like a Glock part I, I'm not really sure exactly what that is but it is just extremely detailed also in the sculpt and it just looks really really good and so I th you know it's just really aesthetically pleasing it's a very good figure just to have on the shelf it really pops out with the rest of uh, the Star Wars figures, just because normally in Star Wars there's not a lot of characters with uh, really bright chromes and so on. It's like you have the regular Stormtroopers, which are all white with black accents here and there, and or you have like the Death Troopers, which are all like this glossy black color with some green accents here and there, or you, you know Star Wars just tends to use a lot of. Uh, you know, dark colors like black and brown and red and blue and so on. But this one, this one's really good in the fact that it uses a lot of chrome and silver. So the the one, I guess, gripe I have is that right here, it's, it's not, not their fault. It's just that there was a bit of a paint chip or paint rub. I, I'm not sure uh, if it's, you know, a bit of a black paint smudge on there or if the chrome got chipped off. Uh, I can't really tell, but I, I'm not really going to mess with it. That's just uh, a little bit of a gripe on mine that there was a little bit of a smudge right there that's not supposed to be there. I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to that stuff. So let's get into the articulation. Getting into this articulation, we have a single jointed elbow that doesn't quite go a full 90 degrees. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the day that, you know, Star Wars, the Black Series, uses double-jointed elbows. I know that their Yoda figure has it, and also the uh, farm boy Luke. He has double-jointed elbows underneath that cloth tunic of his, but I'd like to see it on all the figures. I just think it really adds a lot more. I think that's where Marvel Legends is a little bit more superior and advanced in the fact that they have double-jointed elbows on their male figures not so much on their female figures yet and I, I know this is a female figure but uh, I would have liked to have seen double jointed elbows anyway but the shoulders go out that much uh, be careful with the shoulder plates they do get tucked under the joint right here so when you move it uh, you do risk it being chewed up a bit right here or the paint being smudged uh, the wrist there's a bit of a wrist swivel uh, the wrists go up and down this way. There is no roll of the dice motion, which I would have liked to have seen a little bit better considering that she comes with a gun. Uh, it's the same thing on this side. The only difference is the, is the arm doesn't go out as much due to plastic capes. Ugh, plastic capes, right? I hate plastic capes. I'm probably, hopefully going to get an upgrade for this cape. So if you 
know anyone who sells a cloth, you know, preferably with a bendy wire cape for Captain Phasma, let me know down in the comment section. Uh, there is a thigh cut that moves outward, but again, she has all this armor on and her belt uh, that it kind of gets in the way a bit. Uh, there's double jointed, oh, uh, sorry, excuse me, double jointed knees. Uh, there is no calf rotation. The, the leg will go out that much. It will go back a little bit further, but it won't go out as much, just again due to all the armor on there. As for the foot, her foot will go down all the way. It won't go up very much, but she does have some very, very nice ankle pivot. Look at that, good ankle pivot. That always helps with posing. So, there we go. Oh. I don't think it did the head, but the head is on a disc hinge. I'm not sure. I don't think you can see it under there very well, but there is a disc hinge under there, uh, which doesn't allow her to move up very much. I'm not sure. I haven't tried popping off the head, so maybe it can move up more without the cape. Again, plastic capes always get in the way. I don't like plastic capes. Uh, she can look down a bit like that. Um, she doesn't have very much ab crunch but the abdomen does move back a lot more than it does go forward so that's always nice so there we go that is her articulation pretty good considering that this figure is five years old now or oh, going on over five years i believe this movie came back out uh, came out in 2015 that's when force awakens came out was it the best star wars movie no i think that the sequel trilogy could have been a lot better. Could have utilized characters such as Captain Phasma along with others. Uh, a little bit more. Could have had better writing. But uh, she's very aesthetically pleasing. It's a very, very nice looking figure. Overall, uh, I guess grading of this figure with all things considered. She is a five-year-old figure. So, you know, with five-year-old figure comes five-year-old issues. You know, I will say that Star Wars The Black Series has improved very much in... Uh, their quality control and in utilizing better articulation and so on. However, if you don't have this figure, uh, I suggest getting her. I think she looks really good if you have an army of First Order Stormtroopers just sitting there just like this. Very aesthetically pleasing, very bright figure. It's one that will catch someone's eye when they come into your room or look at your shelf or anytime you do that, it just looks really good. So. Uh, before we end this review, let's get a look at some comparisons. You know, right here I have the Kylo Ren from The Force Awakens. Now, again, I, I did mention this in the fact that when I did a my Mandalorian review, she is very, very tall. And Adam Driver, who plays Kylo Ren, let's see, I have his feet straight. And her feet, her legs are kind of spread out a little bit, and his are not. So he's standing up straight. So I'm not sure if they just made her huge or if she actually is this tall in real life, but I know that Adam Driver is like 6'3". So if he, if he, if this is accurate to scale, right, and this is 6'3", that would mean that she is literally like 7 feet tall, <laughs> if not more. So that that is crazy. She's a very large figure. Um, again, I, I'm not sure what the height to scale is, if it's accurate to real life. Uh, but if it is, she's very tall. If it's not, then they just made her very, very big. Uh, considering that these were both in the same wave, uh, the, you know, he is also from The Force Awakens. That's why he has the older look of the lightsaber. They did a more modern, updated version, which I have yet to get. All right, there we go. And then for another comparison, just because I did this review recently on Tuesday, uh, we have the Mandalorian, another helmeted character. So those look pretty good side by side. Yes, they're from totally two different timelines here. Times uh, he was after Return of the Jedi, and this is years years later. But I just want to see what they look like side by side. Again, this figure is really small, and or she's just very large. Uh, I'm not sure. No. <laughs> so there we go. And of course, always we have to do this figure review. We have to do this figure comparison. We have Jedi Master Deadpool with a custom Jedi robe from Rebel 10 Customs and an Infinity Gauntlet just because why not? What what else could make Deadpool crazier? You know, lightsaber, the Force, Infinity Gauntlet. All right, so let's get this guy out of here. Uh, all in all, I give this figure I'd say a solid 7.5 out of 10. She's very aesthetically pleasing. 
um, good for the time being, but, you know, uh, I would have liked to have seen a cloth cape rather than a plastic cape. I do know that there was a Disney Store exclusive where she was battle damaged and it was from The Last Jedi. It had the battle damage helmet and a cloth cape along with some new accessories. I didn't get the chance to pick that up. Uh, my Disney stores uh, were packed with them. I was waiting for them to go on sale this year when they were going to have their sale. But obviously COVID-19 happened and the quarantine and so on. So hopefully once everything's open up again, I'll be able to see that figure again. Uh, get that one and possibly do a side-by-side -side comparison. So anyway, uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. Give me a follow if you're watching this on Instagram. Like this. Comment down below. Either way, whether you like this figure or not, tell me what you think of this review. Would you like to see some more Star Wars reviews in the future? Tell me what you would want to see reviewed. Um, I have some really cool stuff coming up. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this figure. Do you have it? Are you going to get it? I know that I believe Amazon's having a sale right now where she's overall pretty cheap, so you could get her pretty good. Um, let me know if you know of anyone who sells a Captain Phasma cape. With a, preferably with a bending wire, but even if it's just cloth, uh, I'd love to get one for this figure. I think that would take this figure to the next level. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for everyone who supports this channel, this page. And again, thank you to Leo, uh, who sent me this figure. Thank you, brother. That is awesome. Great figure. She looks great on myself with the Force Awakens slash Last Jedi shelf. So, awesome. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Blessings. Peace.